Hello and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today we're going to be completing stage 117 of the Volkswagen T1 Samba from Diagostini. Let's go ahead and get the parts out. And it looks like I probably need to keep these separate because they're in two separate po pockets inside of the uh, inside of the plastic. So we're going to put these ones here. I think these are probably identical to the four parts. The four of them are identical to each other. So there's those two. And we're going to put these other ones here. Almost lost a part. This one tried to get off the table. And let's get the book open. Something, I'm, something about these books, and I do pre-fold them usually, but I've noticed that a lot of them have it open to the center of the book is exactly where you start. So let me see. Actually, does not matter. These parts are identical. They're only separated in the pockets, I guess, just so that you see that there's two separate sides. These are all four identical, so let's go ahead and... Um, get building. By the way, 117-1, 1, 117-2, 4-3s. And oh, by the way, 117 means this after this stage, 118, 119, 120, and the van is done. The van is done at this point. The luggage rack, surfboard, and the luggage are all that's left. And the luggage rack, I believe, will be done after this. So the first thing you do is take 117-1. Just let me double check. The dash one is the one without. Right, without the curved pipe here at the end. This is a dash two. This is the dash one. The dash two oops, will hold the dash one, they'll go together like that. So the dash one goes across here like this. It goes into the four holes on the end pieces and it is a push to fit or push to fall off. Let's try this again. I'm being careful because these are all plastic and some of it is very thin plastic. I do not want to break them. So while we're, while we're doing this, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Mentioned this in the last video. I'm just curious. I want to hear viewers' opinions. Should I go back to doing live streams? The live streams would be, could be, they could be part works. They could be out of box reviews of model kits I have, or they could be building um, just regular kits. So one, the dash twos are going to go on the ends. I'm just curious what my viewers opinion is. It's been a long time, probably getting close to a year since I did a live stream. And I'm just curious what people think. If you want to want me to start live streaming again. So, okay. So these square pegs push through. And then on the end here, this is going to push on here like that. And it's actually pretty well constructed. I mean, it's, it's like a regular roof rack. You know, they, you, they don't make them like this anymore. More these days, you got the railings that you just throw stuff up there and then tie them, tie them down. This was a different time. Actually, this was a different time. This was a simpler time. And I'm willing to bet this roof rack would have taken more weight than most car roofs can. I know that we've done the 
we had a rooftop bag that went between the um, slats on our quote unquote roof rack on our grand caravan. And it said not to exceed 200 pounds on the roof. I think we had 500 of them, but that's okay. Nothing happened. So once these are on, once you've created your box, you turn this part over and then the pieces here. Okay, that's how that works. This round part is the round hole there. It's just in case this part has stuck through quite a bit. You got the two smaller pins here. And those are the pins that were on the parts. On part twos, I believe it was. Yeah, on the part twos from the previous issues. And that just pushes on there like that. Come on. I'm just, with the live stream idea, I'm just kicking around the things to help grow the channel a little bit more. Because I am, I think I've mentioned this before, I am going to slowly start working away from part works, which is where my channel started, was doing part works. But I find that I don't have enough time to do my regular models, which I love doing. And so kind of getting away from them. Plus, they're so expensive. I mean, if you think about it, each one of them is at least 1500 and they're more, they're going over $2,000. And so there's the roof rack. It does not, well, it might. I don't know yet for sure. There are what could be screw holes in the ends of these things. But I don't know of anywhere you can actually screw something onto the band itself. There might be little pieces, other additional pieces to the brackets. Let's take a look at the book, the picture on the front of the book. And of course it doesn't show it. Maybe. Not that side. It, it does look like it just sits on there. We'll see. But I digress. That is all there is to do in this stage. And actually, this is, that is all the parts that I have. The stages 118, 119, and 120 are not in the mail yet, but I, the, the shipping label has been created, so I should be getting them pretty soon. You know, neither here nor there. I really have enjoyed this kit. Mating the chassis to the interior, or mating the body to the chassis to the interior, that was the hardest part of the kit. That and the uh, steering. Steering was pretty interesting, but overall, this is probably the best part work I've ever done. At that, I'm going to say like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of any time I do post a new video. Come on over to Hobby Link Internet, not Hobby Link, good God, no. Sorry about that. Come on over to Hobby Time Modelers. That was a slip of the tongue and way back machine. But hop, come on over to Hobby Time Modelers on Facebook, YouTube, and Discord. Links will be in the description. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. And I will see you in the next video.